more difficult for me to pick out what three objects I would try and save if my house were on fire. Fortunately for me, all of my objects are located within six feet of each other. My first object is this ring that is on my hand and that you can see up, oh, and that you can see up here on the board. This ring belonged to my father. It was given to him on November 14, 1944, by my mother on their wedding day. And when my father was getting sick and getting, getting older and getting sick, I told my mother, I don't care about anything else from dad. The one item that I want is that ring to remember him by. Every time I look at this ring, for the past 10 years since he's been gone, I always think of him. And when there's a special moment in my life, I look down at this ring and think of him. Eventually, when I pass on, this ring will go to my son, and hopefully, decades and decades from now, it will be passed on to his son. My next object, oh, I'm sorry, that is a picture of my father, myself, and my son when he was only a year and a half. He's going to be 20 years old now. <laughs> now, my next object came all the way from Moscow, Russia, when we went up to Murmansk, as you can see up at the far north, up at the Arctic Circle, to get our son Ben, who was adopted at the age of 18 months. That object is this pipe. Now, I hope you can all notice the emblem on it, the double-headed eagle, which is the symbol of Russia. This pipe was purchased at the Goom department store in Moscow, Russia. I don't know if anybody here has ever heard of Goom, but it used to be the largest indoor mall in the world before they started building Woodfield, Mall of America, any of that. As you can see, it's very closed, a lot of little terraces. So I'm a pipe smoker, and of all the 75 pipes that I own, that is one of only two pipes that I would grasp. Because the second pipe was purchased in Karagunda, Kazakhstan, down here. Kazakhstan, which used to be part of the Soviet Union and Russia. And that pipe is here. And you can see very intric intricately carved. But this pipe is made entirely of wood, so I never smoke it because I'm afraid I'm going to burn it out. This pipe was purchased when we went all the way to Kazakhstan to get our daughter, Sarah, in the year 2000. <laughs> and Sarah was only nine months old when we got her. Funny story, we were originally going to go back to Russia, but Russia closed down and our agency asked, let's try Kazakhstan because all the paperwork is the same. We just have to change the name of the country on it. And within two weeks, we were given videos and everything for Kazakhstan for Sarah. <laughs> Speaking of my daughter, Sarah, the last object that I would pick is this montage of photographs. Now, these photographs are from four years ago when we were in Israel up on the side of the Sarah's Bat Mitzvah. I don't know how many of you know what a Bat Mitzvah is. It's the girl's similarity of a bar mitzvah of coming of age to read the Torah. The reason I chose this one instead of the one we have from my son is Ben is far more religious than Sarah is. So we consider this a fantastic accomplishment that she went and did this. And plus the other reason is if you look at this picture here of Ben and Sarah and their tally, and yes, you can see Sarah has very Asian features from uh, Kazakhstan because it borders on China. But this is, this is the two of them together on top of Masada and their tali. This picture shows our entire family in front of the Torah. And the rabbi over here, just to give you a funny incident, is the same rabbi who did Ben's bar mitzvah Masada four years earlier. <laughs> we were very shocked to see him and the fact that he remembered us. The picture up here is very dear to me because it shows Sarah and my wife Randy in front of the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem, which is the holiest artifact in the Jewish religion. The pictures on the corners were the 
giant celebration for all the bar and bat mitzvahs that were held that evening. I was never so proud of Sarah as I was that day. Not that I'm not proud of her now, she continues to make me proud, <laughs> but if it comes to our religion, that was it. So to wrap everything up, as you can tell, all of my objects are family related because my family is probably the most important thing in the world to me. Thank you very much. If anybody has any questions. Okay. All right.